Welcome back to Long Island TV. It's spooky season and we are at one of the most haunted spots on Long Island. So let's go check it out. Today we are at one of the most haunted spots on Long Island, so I brought our media relations manager with me, Marissa, to the Southampton History Museum. There are so many haunted places on Long Island, and we're talking real-time haunts, not this Hollywood drama. The entire town of Montauk, Lake Ronkonkoma, Fire Island Lighthouse, Jane's Hill, Sweet Hollow Road, there's so many urban legends. But tonight, we're at the Rogers Mansion, a part of the Southampton History Museum. This place is filled with over 300 years of Southampton culture and history, and they offer tours throughout the year. They have a bunch of different historical artifacts, buildings that you can tour, and they also offer ghost hunting tours. Yeah, we're actually here with the Long Island Paranormal Investigators to see what lurks behind the closed doors when nobody's home. Woo! Let's go check it out. So we are with the founder and leading investigator of Long Island Paranormal Investigators, Mike. Thank you so much for coming with us today. No problem. How many people usually are on a tour? So we usually have about six people on a tour per tour and then we usually, um, we take them through the house and if we get to a spot where we're able to kind of like split them up, we do that because normally we have more than one of our investigators there. So we're trying to split up a little bit. We have a lot of stationary stuff that we set up and then all of our investigators have different handheld stuff and it ranges from EMF meters to guided counters, audio recorders, all different types of cameras and stuff. And we kind of utilize that with the guests. So Are they can bring their own stuff if they want. Yeah, if they want to bring their own cameras or equipment and stuff, we encourage that absolutely. Marissa's got her own stuff. So oh, awesome. I think we're prepared. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Let's going, hope so. we get something tonight. Let's yeah, let's, let's go. This is what we refer to as Clara's bedroom. Her, that's her name is Clara. And this is Sam's bedroom. Clara, are you here with us? Is anyone here with us? You could just feel the creepiness and the energy in all of these rooms. Is anybody here with us? Can you tell me who lived in this house? Can you tell me who lived in this house? to the spirit down here is Sarge. One of the key things that I always say to people about hauntings is it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be an item. Mm -hmm. So you might be haunted, your house might be haunted, but also you just might have a really creepy teddy bear that's carrying around an evil 
collectible spirit, right? We are a museum, we collect objects, and in our collection we have over 40,000 individual pieces that have been donated to us. But also, you just might have a really creepy teddy bear that's carrying around an evil spirit, right? I will say the one thing that we've had happens down here, I wouldn't say that frequently, but enough that it's warranted talking about is girls getting their skirt pulled or their hair touched or something I like swear! That. So, I swear to God, my skirt like possible. touched me in the back, and you can like feel it. It it pops out. My yeah. skirt like pops out. It doesn't touch the back of my leg, and it yeah. touched the back of my leg when he was talking. And I was like, <gasps> "You're here with us. Can you give us a sign of your presence?" I saw like something like white or something go across. White or something go across. <laughs> Bye Sarge. Bye Sarge. So as a fellow paranormal investigator, what do you think? That was wild. Immediately, I just needed to get to that second floor, and then after Connor told us that some other people feel the same way, I'm like, I'm pretty sold on this, and after your experience, well. <laughs> I feel like you have a paranormal meter, so I trust you. <laughs> but I literally felt Sarge touch my skirt, I swear. Yeah, I swear. I, I'm sorry for antagonizing. <laughs> You did! For a local paranormal investigation, I definitely recommend this one by Southampton History Museum. You should check their website to get tickets and sign up for their next event. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Discover Long Island NY, and hashtag Discover Long Island so we could follow your adventures. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I brought Marissa, our media relations manager, with me to explore... <laughs> To what? I brought our media relations manager with me, Marissa. <laughs> Not any of that Hollywood drama. Um, you could also, can we start over? Yeah. Oh, what a, oh, Long Island. <laughs> Cozy thing. Thank you for having us, Sarge. Suck. <laughs> Go to the southamptonhistory.org. Oh. Check out the next date that they have. Uh, no, sorry. Do you want to say that? You want me to? Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you would like to experience something like this too, you should go straight. To <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> I know, right? Okay, we're, we're done, done now. now. <laughs>